just at Lake Tekapo today. I thought while I'm here, I'll do a quick video of what's been going on with the camera. A few things I've added. So the idea with this Pajero, it's not just to do hard tracks and all that kind of stuff. It's also even just a nice gravel road, to sit by the lake, eat some food, and just take in the view of my partner, my young'un. So to do that, I've added some stuff, 12 volt stuff, all that kind of jazz. So you've still got the rear drawer like normal, that hasn't changed. Tools, all that stuff. But I have grabbed a Ridge Rider drawer set. This is for cooking stuff, food. Got the chopping board there. Go back into that. And also, a Waco fridge with the fridge slide. Pretty cool, it's only a second hand one does nice. Next thing, I quite like this. Got a control panel. So obviously with this, you would probably guess that I've gone dual battery setup now. So I've got the dual battery tray for my diesel. So this is a switch for the fridge. That turns that on, off. The next two is pretty cool. And also, this is my favorite thing. that down there test out water pump fresh water it's enough power there extendable hose and all this is removable so it runs off a cigarette lighter so I can put this in the Ranger in the work truck in my partner's car just whatever and this is from on tap I think on tap products Australia um, and as the air compressor there look let it sit there and the hose is just long enough to reach all four tires if I go through that window there, which is pretty cool. Turn that off. So it runs off circuit breakers, it's got fuses, all that kind of jazz. Uh, it's got the fuse bit down there. This is a Ridge Rider from Super Cheap Auto. I didn't want nothing too flash because I better use it to be fair. Um, it's just a weekend thing. But I reckon it's pretty cool. So obviously with this, um, I still have sleeping set up inside it. But it's like this time now, um, that seat will fold down there. And this mattress just folds in half, so it becomes a single mattress. But if I want to, four bolts, all this can come out. Um, I'll go back to a double again. But I reckon that's pretty cool. Um, especially I quite like this. It's pretty cool. And if I want, I can have all it out. Cause that. So the next thing I installed, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I finally got myself a 270 degree awning. This is a South Alps one. Um, these are from a couple of fellas in Christchurch. And what I'll do, I'll show you how it works and why this is a quite a good one.
So it's completely freestanding. Look at that. It goes right round the back of the cab. It does cut it close for the height of track, but. How cool is that? So if I remember rightly, this can withstand winds up to 30 kilometers an hour. So it's actually quite big. So I was looking at the cheaper, I think it's RMR. What I've been told is quite small. But for when it does get a bit windy and rainy, so when the rain comes, you can put this up. And the water runs off that. These legs that just come down there. And one over there. And it does come down with tie downs as well. Um, look at the shade. If I step back. That is pretty cool. And the best thing about it, it's so quick to set up. Look at that. So it's got a bit of wind in Lake Tekapo now, and it's fine. Look, it's absolutely fine. And putting it away exactly the same is just as quick. Um, yeah, I thought that's really cool. So unfortunately I have found a negative with this awning. And that is these brackets up here, look. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but they're not 90 degrees. It's bent inwards. So when I first installed it, the awning shot up in the air really high. So it's not ideal, I have to pack it in with a washer or spacer, look. Just to get it square, but I think I'm gonna buy a couple of aftermarket brackets. Um, I mean, this will do in the meantime. I mean, I definitely still recommend it. Uh, it was cheaper than some of the rest up there. Um, but yeah, it's just to keep in mind. Unless you want your awning to shoot up in the air like that. But I didn't, it looked kind of a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah, apart from that, that's the only thing I haven't shown is the dual battery setup. That's, it's just standard, really. Um, they have room for a second battery tray because the diesels have them. So it just looks factory. But, um, Apart from that, she's still the same. Yeah. So next video, I'd say, if this won't be with an adventure one with this one or the Ranger, it'll be a video on two shoot. That's the other one I've got. Uh, that's currently all sanded down, waiting for paint. Um, I'm just waiting on a few things. I already got the paint, so yeah. Cool. Right, I'm gonna sit here for uh, another hour or so. Have some food and um, yeah, catch you on the next one.